guys. So tonight we're gonna be finishing up that uh, video we did last night where we were fixing that chip on my car. So last night we went ahead and put base and clear in there. We let it harden up overnight and now we're gonna finish up on this uh, part of the car and get that chip looking good. So hopefully the paint stays in that uh, chip like I told you guys last time. That's the biggest part of repairing a chip is uh, hopefully that that clear adheres to that well. So stay tuned and hopefully this will come out beautiful like I hope it will. And you guys will get something good out of this. So if you guys got any chips on your cars, you could go ahead and take care of it yourself. So stay tuned guys and thanks for watching. All right guys, so there's the chip. It's got the clear in it and the base from last night. So if anybody's new to this video here, there's another video uh, prior to this one that we went ahead and put the base and the clear in and let it sit overnight. So look for that video. I'll put a link in the description for it. But so this stuff's been sitting in overnight and I went ahead and put black uh, tape on this cause I don't want to hit the buffer on my satin hood. This isn't a uh, wrap. This is actually painted from the factory of satin black. So you definitely don't want to get any buffing compound on this or hit it with the wheel on accident because it'll make a, a shiny spot in it so if anybody has any you know moldings or anything nearby always cover that up and get it out of the way because it can be a pain in the neck so i got my compound i got my uh, little milwaukee and i'm going to go ahead and get the uh, sandpaper out now in the block to go ahead and start sanding on it so stay tuned guys all right guys so so when i'm going to sand that down you want to use a block so I cut this little piece out of a paint stick to make a small block because you want something flat. So that way when you're sanding on top of that spot that you filled with the paint, that's going to be higher. So it's going to be like a little mountain. So it'll hit the mountain before it hits the actual part of the car that's already flat. And that way you'll be taking off that and it'll come down to the flat areas. So I made a little block of a, a paint stick. And then I got my 1500 grit and I'm going to wrap it around it. All right, guys. So I got my water and I got my little block. So you just want a small block. You don't want a, a big block because you'll be sanding too much around the actual car and making more stuff that you have to buff out. So get a little small block, make it out of wood or 3M makes a cool uh, small nib uh, kit for sanding. But you guys at home aren't going to want to spend the money to buy that whole kit. So just, you know, make a little piece of wood. And so we're gonna start sanding on it now. So like I said, you're gonna sand the top of that, that spot that we did off because it's higher than the paint around it. So, but you want something flat. That way you can um, hit that high spot down. So I'm gonna go ahead and wipe it and check it. You know, don't rush, sand it, check it and um, then go from there with it. So it needs to be sanded a little bit more. I can feel it. And like I said, this is blocking it nice and flat. You're just hitting that, that nib first or the, not the nib, but the actual spot we touched up. So it'll flatten it out nice and even. And you guys will see what I mean when I'm all said and done with it. So, but every once in a while, wipe it off and check and you'll see how it dulls out. See how it's got the dull spot now that it dried and that's how it'll come out. So then we'll polish it out. So stay tuned guys. And uh, I'm gonna sand a little more on it and then we'll buff it. All right guys, so we got it all sanded out and it's flat. You can feel over it too to any of you new guys and see that, feel it with your hands because your, your hands will feel things that you won't see. But I know that it's smooth now. So I'm gonna go ahead and buff it now. So stay tuned guys. Let me get the buffer now. So like I said, I'm using a small Milwaukee. Uh, that's what I use at work. So I brought it home. And this is just a 3M compound. Just put a little on. And move it back and forth so you don't sling it all over the place. Let me line this pad back up. But just go nice and easy. Don't go crazy. See what it's doing and then come back and check it. So
So guys, you can see it's gone. So that's how you fix a chip, guys. Put the base in there um, and go ahead and put your clear in and then wet sand and buff it, guys, and it'll come out beautiful. So hope you guys like this video. Stay tuned for more and uh, subscribe and hit the bell, guys.